Will your shear stab somebody? Ouch. Can you crucify yourself with your shears? Are the tips way too pointy? Let's see how to fix it. Recently, I was given a pair of shears to sharpen that were very noisy, out of alignment. They were cast shears, so we couldn't bend them. And you might want to check the video. Here's the link up here. But now that we're through, the tips are so pointy. We have got to do something about it. And the only thing we can do is actually remove some of the length and round them off. So let's see how to do that. Do you like watching my videos? I like making them. Please comment, subscribe, like, and hit the little bell for notifications when we have new videos come out. This is going to be an easy, quick video. I'm actually using my cushion plate. You could use a hard plate if you wanted to. I'm using an 80 micron, which is a little bit coarser than my courses of my grit, my blue film grit. I might use a 100, but I happen to have an 80 here. My first thing I want to do is get the length down to where I need it to be. Do you see how pointy, pointy the tip is? This one's not as bad, but this is the, the worst one. I want to take about that much off so that I can round it off. So I'm going to put my red Sharpie here so I can see where I want to go. That's going to be a good bit of metal to take off. So I want to come in, and this will overheat. So a little bit of water is good. And I'm just coming in here straight. I might flip it from one side to the other. At this point, all I'm doing is removing length. Am I there to my mark yet? Not quite. Just straight in. You get this smell. You might be able to smell something. Not everybody can smell it, but it's a kind of a metallic smell when you are it's starting to overheat. You don't want to overheat your metal. Okay, I think I'm here. So now I want to do, I'm going to slow down a little bit. And this is the three, two, one step I learned when I was in Germany on the Jaguar shears. So I'm going in this area right here. One, two, three. Flipping it over. One, two, three. Then I'm going after that corner. One, two, that corner. One, two, and then I'm rounding it off. That has it squared off, and I don't feel any scratchiness, but you may want to go to something a little finer just to refine that tip. Here is a 1200 grit, and I'm going to do that same 3 2 1 process. I'm not straight on, I'm not down here, I'm kind of right about here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one. If it still feels a little scratchy, you can just do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, and then gently. One, two. And you can rub your arm and see how scratchy it is. When I was in Germany and Pedro was training me, he had a bald head. He didn't have all this red hair that I have. And he would grab him from me and he would scratch his head with it. And he was like, okay, it passes or go back and do it some more. Um, I usually will just fill it with my finger or maybe if I want to be real sensitive to it, fill it up here. The idea about rounding it off is so that it's safer, it's not as pointy. But then you also, and oh, by the way, I just felt a little grit left behind, wipe it off before you start cutting with it because because I've used such aggressive grit it might get in here and, and nick the two blades. So um, you want to round it off because not only does it scratch their hand if they're cutting with it, but if they're going around the customer's neck or something or, or cutting in close in here, it's going to scratch them. So that's an important last step on any shears you're sharpening and especially on ones that you're 
having to go behind another sharpener and they're already too pointy and you need to round them off. And I don't think any stylus will notice the difference in the length. I took off um, maybe about four millimeters. So that's how to shorten and round off a pair of beauty shears.